In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the making of Granville Street with digital art. All of these artworks were created with Procreate on the iPad Pro. So I start off doing a little uh, pre-sketch in my sketchbook about what I'm planning to do. We then move on to the, um, on Procreate, the digital, I, the actual digital drawing. I put there the vanishing points in first and start drawing some verticals for the signboards that are quite prominent in this drawing. Then I'm continuing on trying to get the word Vancouver there at the bottom. Some of the letters are much easier to display then than others, moving the V up closer to the A, making the whole thing uh, sit beautifully the way I want it. Then I, then I draw some random uh, diagonal lines across, um, no particular pattern, and these are going to create the shapes that we're going to start colouring in. I then start with my first colour palette, which is black, and I select each of the little shapes within there. Now I'm continuing on colouring in, outlining then colouring in with black, um, several of the shapes that are there. It's uh, The idea is to spread it out a little bit over the uh, canvas so that you're not all congested in one area or creating um, a pressure of one colour in one section. So first I'm actually working with the black. As you can see now we're, we're spreading out the actual the colouring. We don't want too much although um, the black is going to be the base for the colours. At this point now I'm starting to come in with um, a chartreuse green to again pick out um, some of the little shapes there and you're looking at the shape, you're no longer looking at the actual drawing because we're trying to give some idea of a slight cubism look to these pictures. This is a fragmented um, visual of the city street, that's what we're going for. So continuing on there with the chartreuse and um, trying not to dominate the black but trying to be a balance, give it a balanced look as we're going through spreading these colours. At this point now I start with the uh, mid-orange, I'm bringing that in, it might be considered uh, like a burnt orange, um, again in the tone colours that we like, fit, fitting in between the, the, the chartreuse and the black, trying to find a balance, spreading the colour out evenly across the canvas. Continuing on to pick out some of the smaller shapes now, some of the um, little billboards and some of the little circles which are actually uh, street lights in the city, in the city street. By now we've kind of lost the, um, the look of the city and I do have a little piece there that looks a little bit like a mouse smiling. So I did make some adjustments to that further on as you'll see by removing that black eye. It, it seems to be slightly distracting because we have the vanishing points there drawing your eye towards that central point and it does look to me like there's a little mouse there smiling. So I did actually remove that because it was incredibly distracting um, on, on that drawing further on. Now we're bringing in um, some more colours. We're, we're stepping up the colour palette here, doing some fiddly little bits within. Um, bringing in the darker tangerine now to balance out the, the orange and the black to take away the harshness of it. But still the colour palette is going in, in the oranges and the reds and amazingly on the greens as well. So that's what we have. I'm being, trying to be very precise on my corners, making sure that I get into virtually down to the pixel level to make sure that those points and those corners of these shapes are very tight. I draw them first with a thicker brush and then come in with a much finer brush in Procreate to get the sharpness of those corners. Now I'm bringing in the, the actual uh, teal colour. This is um, the blue spectrum coming in now to uh, counter out, counterbalance the orange that we had quite a bit of and it's going to give a cooler look to the painting in general. So although it's a very busy painting, I'm trying to get it to be um, more balanced, more easy on the eye. And this is done by bringing in contrasting colours from the opposite side of the colour wheel. So with the teal, we've still got the like grey look going there. Now I'm taking my, um, what's called a noise brush, and I'm putting some white shadows on the darks and working my way up the blacks, the oranges, the tangerines. And this is, I'm bringing shadow in from random sides, but specifically um, each, each shape will receive a a whiter shadow um, to highlight it as well. 
at this point I've actually now brought in the um, some words, some letters there on those main billboards so you can get to see the actual way the city streets looking. And there's your final look with the Vancouver at the bottom and that is my Granville Street in Vancouver Digital Art. I'm Alison Hazel Art. Thank you so much for watching.